Hey there, I'm Nails Mahoney from On Air Coach. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these, and I'll explain to you why that is in just a moment or so. I wanted to touch base with you, first of all, because, well, we're in the middle of Radio Star, which is our international talent competition, and that's going really well. We're having good fun with that. It's very exhausting. There's a lot of work involved in that. But also, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, something we learned during the past week, because we met up with three new people. I, I, I'm not going to call them clients, just people, people that work in radio or have worked in radio. And the one thing we've learned from them, from talking to these three individuals, was that there's a common theme that keeps occurring. Each one is at a different stage in their career. One of them was let go by a major radio station uh, about a year ago and is now working in a smaller station and wants to network his show. Nice idea. The second one is still working in the radio station he's in, but was basically told there's no future for you here, which is obviously not something you want to hear, right? Hey, we love what you do, but uh, you're never going to move any further than this. Okay. So, and the third one was a person who was in a part-time-ish job, but is looking to move out of what they're doing right now. Uh, so the, 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 the mode they're in now, say it's news or sport, wants to go into something else, right? What they're all finding is that it's very difficult to move forward, that it's very hard to uh, take that next step. How do you do that is the question. What do I do? Where do I go? How do I find the people to talk to? And then when I talk to them, what do I say to them? Because one of the things that keeps going back uh, from earlier days when we were coaching was people saying to me and uh, to Tracy that uh, I don't know what I'm selling. I mean, who am I? What do I do? When the program director or the or whoever I'm going for, whatever job I'm going for, ask me, what are you going for? And I'll say, well, I'll do anything. And we always used to joke, well, there's no job for that. There's no, no job says wanted, person to do anything, presenter who will do absolutely anything. It's not there. Right? It doesn't exist. So what we've learned over time is that you have to do a specific thing. And I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. What happens is, we get an idea in our head when we're starting out. Think back to when you decided you wanted to get to media, uh, radio, TV, YouTube, whatever the heck it is you do. Think back to when that was, when you thought to yourself, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. That sounds good. That, 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 that's, that's me. What did that feel like, first of all? What was the feel? What was, what was the feeling in your stomach? What, did you, what was the energy like inside you? Well, obviously, it was some sort of excitement, right? Some sort of uh, buzz, a thrill. Because you're not going to go, yeah, right, media, okay, I'll follow that path. You're not going to do that if you don't want to do it. You have to you have to feel it, first of all. And then when you felt it, what did you see yourself doing? And that's the hard part, right? Uh, the hard part is deciding what you are and what you're best at. And that comes through trial and error. If you've been in the industry a while or if you're starting out, you'll learn over the years that it's trial and error. Uh, get you where you want to go. How to find out where you want to go. I'll give you me as an example. It's all about me. Let me give you me as an example, right? I started out doing this stuff in 2007. And the reason I did it was because I just liked helping people. I like talking to people. I liked uh, communicating with people. I like to, to give people advice if, if it was asked for. But who the heck was I to tell anybody what to do, right? Just a guy. First thing I realized, my experience was something that I could use. Right. At that stage, I had 25 or so years in the business. So my experience was what I had to use. Uh, second thing was I needed then to go out and tell people that I was doing this. So I needed to make it public. Third thing I needed to do was work on it. And over the years, I've learned to work on it. Uh, we're both Tracy and myself. We're both qualified career coaches. Uh, we're life coaches. And now I'm currently in the middle of finishing off an NLP, uh, whatever you call it, not degree. Jeez, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I don't have time for a degree, but I'll be qualified NLP coach. So I'll be able to use that as well in what I'm doing. So you're always upgrading. You're always finding out the new thing about you. So here's one thing I want you to do right now. You can do this right now. First of all, think very clearly about what it is you want. Simple as that. What is it that you want? want and i'm not talking about just kind of oh i wouldn't mind doing this or that'd be nice or that'll be all right now what do you want i mean what do you actually want what gig do you want what's the ultimate gig I'm not saying you'll get it tomorrow 
or next year, but what is the ultimate gig? What do you want, right? Okay, have a think about that. It's not going to come to you immediately because that's a tough question. You might need to write things down. You might need to take notes. You might need to go inside yourself. Have a think. What do you want? Second one is when you've decided what it is you want and you've narrowed it down, what do you do next? What do you have to do? I'll go back to when I was starting out. I knew what I wanted to do. In order to start doing that, I needed to let the people know that I was doing it. Then I took out banner ads on websites and stuff. That's what you did back then to tell people what I was doing, right? So what's the next step for you? Maybe it's to upgrade your skills. Maybe it's to network. I don't know. You know. Well, you will know. And then the third step all depends on that second step, right? So you start at the first thing. What is it that you want? That is number one. Without that, what are you doing? You'll just be that guy or girl that comes into the office and says, I'll do anything. And the boss will say, well, we don't have that job. That doesn't exist. So whether you want to do radio, podcasting, YouTube, vlogging, Instagram, whether you want to be a TikTok person, whether you want to write on Substack and make a living out of that, whatever your media is, you need to figure out what it is you want. To be laser-like with it as well. It's got to be perfect because without that vision, without that picture, that clear picture in your head, you're going to go off on rabbit holes. You're going to go off on different tangents. And then that's going to lose out and that bit's going to lose out. And it's going to get quite messy and quite blurry and quite uh, dull. As in, you're not going to see the, the full picture. Plus, when you do finally pinpoint what it is you want to do, it gets exciting, right? It's that feeling again of when I was talking about when you realize this is what you want to do. That, whoa, I like the feeling of that. Then when you pinpoint what you want to do, it just enhances that or it brings it back again. It's almost like a jolt. It just gives it that jolt again. And you're back in that mode. So pinpoint what it is you want to do. Decide what you need to do first. What's the next step? What is your next step towards getting where you want to go? And then the third step will rely on that second one. All right. That's a very simple breakdown on how to do this. This is what I was speaking to those people about when we were talking to them during the last week or so. The three steps. We, we went through a little bit more uh, detail with them because we were talking to them face to face. Right. I want to let you know that uh, next in the next two weeks, we're holding a three week career course. Three sessions once a week, an hour each, for 90 euro. Now, if you go onto our website, you'll see what we normally charge for this stuff. It's a lot, a lot, a lot more than 90 euro, believe you me. This is this is uh, really, really good. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing it. Okay, that sounds like a salesman. I don't want to be the, the salesman. I don't want to be those guys that come on and go, hey, and you'll also get a set of kitchen knives. I don't want to do that crap with you. But what I want to do with you is a maximum of 10 people. If 10 people show up, great. If they don't, that's fine. But a maximum of 10 people for an hour a week for three weeks. And we'll go through your career plan. We'll go through your vision. We'll go through what it is you want to do. We'll go through that step two, which is really important. Step two is vital. And then we'll get the third step. And at the end of the three weeks, you'll have a clear vision of what you want. And you'll have the steps to start getting there. And you'll have a plan. You'll have a plan of action just for you, a bespoke plan of action that just you alone, because it's just your career, right? It's nobody else's career. Well, your plan of action would be rubbish for me. Imagine me trying to do what you do. Wouldn't be able to handle it, man. I'd be out my year in a week. So that's what we're going to offer right now. Three weeks, an hour a week, online, where we get the three steps for you. We'll get that vision. We'll take the second step. What do you need to do next? And then we'll get the the plan of action. So by the end of the three weeks, you'll come away going, right, now I know who I am, what I want, and how to get there. Does that sound all right? Let me know. Uh, It's info at onaircoach.net. I'll put all the details at the bottom of this when I upload this uh, as as an actual video, and you can find out what it is you want there. Oh, by the way, also, during the three weeks, you have access to email to us as well, individually, privately. So if you have a question or something, oh, I'm doing this, I don't know what, what, what that is, or does this make sense? Well, I'll answer the questions for you, all right? Because the one thing I've discovered over doing this since 2007, with 5,000 clients under our belts and haven't spoken all around Europe and North America as well, is that clarity is everything. You've got to know what you want. And look, time is running out. We don't have all 
the rest of the fifth, next 50, 60 years to figure this out. Time is ticking on this. You get one shot at it, right? Opportunities show up, and when they show up, you need to grab them. So when opportunities show up, you need to know that that's your particular opportunity and that you're ready for it. Otherwise, someone else is going to take it. Why will they take it? Because they had a vision, they had a plan, yada, yada, yada. It's not rocket science, but figuring out how to do it is the tough part. And having someone on your side, like a mentor, a coach, is how you progress even better because you're accountable. You're accountable to, to another person. When you're accountable to someone else, you do the work. I know a lot of people say, uh, I've heard this, oh, well, we get free coaching from our radio station and we go to seminars. Yeah, I know this. And you're right, you do. But what these don't teach you is this. You know, they teach you how to edit. They teach you how to interview people. They teach you all the basics of when you're in a job doing what they think you should be doing. But they don't teach you this. They don't teach you you. Because only you know you. There's no class called you, you know, right? There's no you school of broadcasting. So that's what we're trying to do with this. And we kept the price as low as we can. 90 euro for three weeks. That's like 30 euro a session. It's like, seriously, look at the website. And you'll see our regular prices. See, I know what we're doing here. Anyway, I just wanted to check in, say that we we'll probably had to a live every Friday just to say hello, see how the week went with you and see how the week went in radio and stuff we've learned over the week. All right, until then. I'm Niles Mahoney, info at onaircoach.net. I'll drop all the details below. I'll talk to you soon. Better knock this thing off. Cheers. <laughs>